Hello, South Africa! And the rest of the world. Yes, you! You wanna know what encouraged me to enter the ESCOM? Expo, for young scientists, huh? Expo! Hi, my name is Lubahanga, you're from Sichuan's Megate Combined School and I'm in grade 12. It was back in 2015, 5 years ago, when I first heard about this ESCOM Mix for Young Scientists. I think I was in grade 7. So I told my mom I don't want to go to the school I was supposed to go to the following year. I told her I want to go to another school because they had Expo. And as soon as I got to that school, I started working on my first ESCOM Expo project. And I went to the original competition. It's pretty scary, you know. First time. The joy of learning science beyond the extent of the textbook, you know what I'm saying? So I entered again for 2017 and still made it to the original competition and you know didn't get any medals you know what i'm saying no prize i still had that feeling you know that i was close to something and check it out for the past two years of getting nothing i didn't give up why because escom expo for young scientists is not all about winning medals you know getting special prizes no i entered the competition again for 2018 and everything changed Here's how things went down. I use a taxi to go to school each and every day. So I was thinking about turning that into a project, but I didn't have any idea at that moment. I was on my way home someday and I was sitting inside a taxi and I'm trying to think of something. You know, I reached my phone and found out that the battery was dying. But then as I was sitting inside a taxi, you know, close to the window, there was this wind coming in our face, you know, moving wind. Wait, moving wind, kinetic energy. If I can somehow convert that kinetic energy to electrical energy, I can charge my phone. Bing! Then I remembered something I used to play with when I was a child, the flywheel. If I can get a motor mechanically attached to the turbine, then I can generate some electricity. Here's how it works. Okay. The model is clipped on the window of a moving vehicle and the turbine sticks outside. So when the vehicle starts to move, the turbine collides with wind particles and starts to rotate. So the kinetic energy of the moving turbine is converted to electrical energy by the motor which works as a generator through the electromagnetic induction process. There's a regulator circuit which regulates the voltage so that it doesn't get too high or too low for the device that's being charged. The regulator circuit uses the L705 regulator which must be attached to a heatsink because the excess energy is converted to heat energy. I investigated on how opening the window affects the electrical energy that's being generated because opening the window allows some wind to get into the taxi and not go to the turbine. A blade is bent at a certain angle i also investigated on how the pitch of the of the blades affect the electrical power that's been generated then finally i won a silver medal at the regional competition i also yeah. won a special prize mm. and my project was the best developed 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 project that's not all i also got selected to go to the international science fair how cool is that then i went on and represented my region on a laptop as a special prize <laughs> then a gold medal with some cash in on the newspapers <laughs> now i can brag about my achievement <laughs> <laughs> Entering ESCOM makes up for young scientists means that someday you can also brag about your achievements. <laughs> but you know what I mean? ESCOM Expo is not all about winning medals, no, it's more than that. Since the goal of ESCOM Expo for young scientists is to develop researchers who are able to identify problems and find solutions, you get research skills like conducting research, let alone learning more than what you get taught at school. Most of the time, we do projects that are somehow linked or aligned to our careers, so it's training. And the most important part, you meet a lot of people and you can make friends. Making friends is the most important, beautiful part. Sharing knowledge, sharing ideas, you know, having all the fun you can and you get motivated by some important people you meet people of different cultures different accents and at the isf you meet people from other countries how cool is that listen to this this is the bonus point which many people don't realize the same report uh, structure we use when conducting the research is the one used for people who do research for phds this means we are already learning how to do PhDs at Expo. Come on, you gotta enter Expo, man, you're missing out. Those of you who live in the townships, you like to complain about not having money to buy equipment to, buy, to build your projects. Come on, stop complaining and listen to this. I get most of my equipment from the rubbish dump. The things that you need, they are already there. People throw them away. Go get them, like I did. Almost everything that I have used to build this comes from the scrapyard. I built this turbine. I built this turbine using a cup like this one. Do something when you're young, when you have nothing to lose. Join ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists now, because with ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, you can discover your future. Thank you.